Hey everyone, it's Dr. Ramani. Welcome back to this YouTube channel on narcissism and narcissistic relationships and healing from them. And this is actually kind of an interesting healing video. It wasn't what I was even gonna plan on, planning on doing and then it came up and I at, about a few weeks ago. And then I thought, this is an interesting video because I have no doubt it's something that a lot of folks struggle with. A lot of what makes healing so difficult in these narcissistic relationships, any kind of painful relationships, but narcissistic relationships kind of uniquely get stuck in our head, is the memories and the echoes of those relationships. And it doesn't matter what kind of relationship it is. It could be romantic, it could be family, even workplace, but it's those echoes that come back at us. And what that means, and what many survivors have even shared with me, is they say, I feel like I've, loosed, I've lost parts of my life. I don't get to go to restaurants I once wanted to. There's entire national parks I won't go to or destinations I won't go to and movies I won't watch and food I won't eat. Those kinds of visceral experiences, taste and smell and sight, sound, actually hold so much meaning. Think of how evocative music is. So this, is a, this, this one is about music. And years ago when I had been in one of many narcissistic relationships I myself have been in, this person had given me some music, listen to this music, listen to this music. And it was music I wasn't familiar with. And there were some songs on it. And because I was sort of so into this relationship, I kept listening to the music over and over again. And again, it was some music I wasn't familiar with. After that relationship ended and I was very shattered, I couldn't listen to any of that music again. It's been a very long time. So the memory of a lot of that music faded. I cleaned it out of my, you know, my at the time it was actually even music. I think you listen like a CD or tape or whatever it was. And then I put, I had my iPhone and I have Apple Music and I, um, I just set it to shuffle just a selection of music, not stuff that was on my device, but just shuffle away. I was on a bit of a long drive and it was night and it was raining and it was in a place that I'm not fully familiar with. It's not where it wasn't where I live. And the music played and one of the songs from that old tape came on and it was, and because it was night and raining, it was already an evocative time. And I was like, my, my sympathetic nervous system was like, hello, sweetheart, here I am. And I was like, what is happening? But I'm, that relationship's in my past. I wasn't feeling the sense of sadness, missing, nothing like that. I was like, wow. And I listened to the song because it's a beautiful song. And I, I listened to it and I was really fascinated to sort of listen to my body, pay attention to my body. But for the first time in years, and I finally then listened to the words again. The words had one set of meaning at that time. And I listened to it now and it had an entirely different kind of a meaning. It's absolutely beautiful lyrics in the song. And I thought, how interesting and how sad that for so many years, this song was out of my life because I thought this is a beautiful song. It actually relates a lot to the kind of work I do now, you know, really focusing on narcissistic abuse. And, and I thought, gosh, how many things we lose. It was powerful for me because then I had to stop and get some gas. And on that stop, I actually took that song, I found it on Apple and I downloaded it to my phone. And it was an interesting moment for me because in essence, what it was doing was saying, I could reintegrate this thing that I had to keep away to feel safe, right? That song was too evocative, but I was ready to receive it back. It wasn't just the beauty of the song at that moment. I was really moved by how my psyche, anyone's psyche shifts a little bit to let some things back in. We can go back to those places, hear the songs, watch the films, eat the foods, let the memories back in be with the beauty that may very well have occurred at the same time we were in that relationship, had to put down for a while to heal. But even like a broken bone heals, and one day we can start running on it again or lifting with it again, the psyche is no different. One day it's strong enough to let this old stuff back. Such a pretty song. And then since then, I've put it like on this little favorites list and I love to listen to music when I'm in the car. It's my favorite place to do it. And it comes up. 
And when it does, definitely there's a bit of melancholy because it meant something at one time. And that thing, I, I, you know, obviously got narcissistically abused away. And now it gets to mean something else. And that's what healing is. Healing is about flexibility. It's about putting things down and taking them back in and letting them become something else. So as any of you think about healing from narcissistic abuse, it can also be helpful to think like if something's passed, if it's been a long time and you might feel ready, you might say, what were some of the songs that I associated with that time or any other things, a film, a place, whatever. Do you feel ready to face it? Mine struck me by total surprise. Like I said, it was a random shuffle because I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't, have, the, that song was completely out of my memory. So that just was almost given to me by the universe and it ended up becoming a really big sort of lesson about healing. And those things may come up as a surprise, but they also may be something you can go back and see if you're ready to bring those things in. I'd hate to think that in these narcissistic relationships, which as challenging as they were, there were some good things in them and that we can sift through the wreckage of these sort of burned out hulks of these past relationships that did hurt us. But as we sift through that wreckage, we may find some things of beauty that we want to keep and that are things that we can take forward in our journey as we heal and show ourselves that life does go on. These relationships sure as hell didn't break us. And in fact, these beautiful things can mean something very different now. And maybe I'll drop in the comments just to surprise you what that song was. So look in the comments and then you'll see what the song was, but you're going to have to go digging for it. Thank you so much. And again, those of you who care about healing, please look at the video notes. These are the kinds of things we unpack in that program. This was sort of an unexpected surprise, so I wanted to share it. Like I said, check out those comments and I'll tell you what the song and who the artist is. Thanks again.